Okay, folks, today we are in the east side of the Dinosaur National Monument. It's, I think, a national park. Uh, easy drive in. There's no actual dinosaur bones in this area, but what we are looking for today is agates and jasper. So red agate and red jasper so far. I parked just up in a little turnabout. I'll mark it and everything for you on the uh, GPS coordinates in the description. But I just came down to the water. Water's a great place to figure out what you're looking for. Um, everything tends to make its way into the streams and the tributaries and stuff. It all works, you know, like example, that slope, everything's going to work its way down into the river here eventually, like over the thousands of years it's been here, millions of years. So it's a good idea to go kind of check the, the water line, um, which was good on me because I'm spotting little bits and pieces of uh, agate and jasper already. Just small ones. I definitely want to go find the source in these mountains but I'm finding little bits and pieces by the water, um, which, like I said, is very promising, very assuring that if I hike these canyons, I'm gonna have even better luck um, throughout them. So, uh, let me just hold, you know, here's a little one that I know will glow. So I'll just clean it a little bit, hold it up for you, and you should be seeing the, the light kind of working its way through it. So that's how you know it's agate. Um, and just the conchoidal fractures and, it, well, it's me, so I know. If you don't have it in you to do the hike, uh, just come down to the water line here and just start raking the slopes because even where people's feet have kind of pushed the, the rock down, I've been digging through and I'm finding lots of uh, little pieces of agate everywhere. Let's leave it at that, let's go find the dig site. Okay, oh yeah, here's the deal. See the uh, little shack down there in the center of the screen? Right above my fingernail there. That's kind of where the parking is. Um, you follow this dirt road, which you will definitely need uh, all-wheel drive for. It's really not that bad, but I wouldn't bring a car up it. And it leads to what looks like a little residence that is gated off in private property. So it really doesn't go very far, but I do believe based on the fact that the gate is farther up, that this road is still public access. That's my belief based on where the gates and no press pass signs are. So I'm just wandering on both sides of the road and there's no specific source for the agate and Jasper, but there are scattered pieces all throughout the ground. So we're just surface picking. Look at this nice big red one, which I probably should have brought a hammer for. Here's ones with uh, nice patterns, the agates there. Let me go ahead and rip this one out of the ground. All right. There you go. There's a nice big chunk of uh, red agate. Probably have to clean it off. I'm not licking that one for you guys. That's got too much dirt on it, but definitely agate, big chunk right there. It's all fractured, so that's probably gonna be broken up as tumble grade material, but you might get a few good, uh, nice jemmy red cabs out of it. So ultimately it's scattered all throughout in big pieces, small pieces, um, but it's definitely abundant and with the sunshine, very easy to see the agates. So as far as this site goes, I'd say it's a easy enough site. Even just parking over there and walking this far through the minor wilderness is a pretty easy task. Um, I'll show you a few more that I pick up, but ultimately it should be pretty easy to fill a bag. And although I'm calling it tumble material, well, tumble material because it's bits and pieces, it's, um, it's actually quite nice. Some of them are, are more opaque and darker. But there's definitely um, some that are more translucent and a bit better that I would even call decent for making cabs. Like uh, this one right here, again, pretty well fractured, but you're going to, once you wash them off, find areas that you can cut out and make reasonable pendant-sized cabs out of. Um, is this a big agate? That is. Look at that. That's a big chunk of agate there. There's a little guy right in the dirt right there. And this too is agate. You can see the seam in between what looks like limestone. 
so reds and of course it's got weathering the lichen on top red transitioning to orange um, but this might be a good piece to take if nothing else just take a rock hammer to it and bash the main chunks off and leave the rest for someone else um, but yeah obviously I was going for that one because that's a nice uh, nice dark red but this is agate right here this whole chunk that's all agate it's more blonde but uh, like I said great for tumble fodder and if I clean up the back I think that might even have more reds in it in the back so quite abundant all throughout here um, go for a walk bring a bag with you have some fun get some agates and jasper oh yeah so check this out I just found enough to to go home with there's a big block of the red agate but then right here you'll see once I dig this piece out that's a nice big chunk there's more over here it's not as colorful but there's other chunks all through here that have you know nice decent reds and stuff so um walk around till you get lucky that's all i can say but it's here it's definitely here oh yeah these are the two i just got out of there the two pieces that were together definitely worth wasting some water on to see but you can tell through the back side it's all agate so the whole chunk here is reds there's a lot of dirt on it but if i wash this off That's all agate in there, folks. Two big giant chunks. I might sphere those and make two big agate spheres or something. But nice, nice big chunks of agate. Look at that. It's good. It's usable material there. All right, so I figured if I found those big ones already that quickly, I might as well go look and see, you know. Sure, I could get some handfuls of scraps before I finally take off. But I figure maybe I'll go for a walk and get one more big one. Look at that right there. That color is gorgeous. This is a nice, nice one. Beautiful reds. It's gonna have good translucency. There it is. Just some spit on it. So that's gonna make for nice cabochons or whatever I wanna make out of that. Nice big chunk. So I'm pretty stoked on this site because like I said, it's kind of addictive. I, I'm like, okay, I only wanted one more, but now that I found that, I wanna get one more still. Like, look at that. There's a big chunk of the Jasper. I could dig that out. That's not necessarily agate as much, but uh, but I'm just gonna keep wandering around. Oh, and plucking the big boys like these. Look at that one. That's a good one right there. That's all agate too. Actually, the bottom part there, that might be limestone. I'll break it and find out, but uh, otherwise, big seam of agate. If not, I'll just take this one here. That's pure agate. Nice purples, bunch of lichen on there, but nice purple red hues. Look at this, guys. Here's an iceberg. We call it an iceberg because, you know, what is it, 10% is above the ground, and I can tell by the shape that the rest of this is under. I know it's not as colorful, I wish it was the reds and stuff, but I can just tell by the overall size. I can't even tell that by the ting, but that's agate. That's a big, big block of agate there. So I've actually been pulling a bunch more big, big chunks back to the car. So great sight. Uh, wander through the goalie and stuff down there too. It's it's awesome, awesome agate site. Oh yeah, check this out, folks. Now that we've dug it out, oh, it's a big rock. Really big rock. Oh, that's an iceberg. There's my foot, there's this agate. I can tell already this is the backside that was in the dirt. You can see the translucency on it. Things like, uh, it's a bit weathered. I would say it has conchoidal fractures, but it actually has a lot of weathering because this has been under the ground for a while. That's a big, big chunk of agate. You can see down the side here, that's all agate. There we go. There's my, my nice take home agate. Like, look at this. I just finished digging the big one and I see these little scuffs. You can see the dirt line there where this was just poking out a bit. So I started quickly digging at it and we got ourselves another iceberg down there. So another nice big, nice big piece to dig out.